Hello, this is the Kumanakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto and welcome to my VVV beta graphics tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this kind of graphic. Uh, I was playing around trying to figure out what could be an interesting uh, topic for today's tutorial and I found this a node called Mesh2SDF. So it's this one. Just gonna hide this guy here. Uh, so it's this one mesh to SDF and it was inside instance noodle not the field trip pack So it was inside nodes module and if you go to dx11 volume There's this uh, mesh to SDF node and it was inside here and once you open this up uh, I realized that this node actually scans the geometry like OBJ and then converts that to a uh, distant field a 3D sign distance field, which then you can use it inside SDF and combine it with the stuff that we let we did for last tutorial. So I thought it's really interesting. I also like the fact how they scan things. But once the scanning process is done, you can actually see this dragon is now a sign distance field, which then you can import it inside field trick pack. So yeah, we're going to be doing this uh, again. So this is what we will be creating for today. Uh, I So by using this mesh to SDF node, I scanned, uh, I had a 3D scan a stone stocked in my folder. So I used that one and converted that to SDF. And then my patch is basically quite simple. So this is how it looks like. So it's this guy, it's quite simple. So from here, I'm converting it to an SDF. And then doing that with transformation and adding some noise onto it to make it look like this. Okay, so let's get started. So for today's tutorial, we would need instance noodles and the field trip. So for those who has that and installed them, please install, download them, and install in your packs folder. We definitely need this instance noodle as well. So please install this one in addition. If you don't have a 3D scan geometry or some geometry that you're interested in converting with SDF, uh, please feel free to download this stone that I've 3D scanned ago. I have this uh, sketchfab.com, Takuma TN is my account. And here, I think all the 3D scan geometries here are downloadable. So I have like different materials from the surrounding. And I think, yeah, they're all download 3D modules. So download this uh, in OBJ format, then you should be able to follow this. This should also look interesting. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, please go to this uh, mesh, to S mesh to SDF help patch and open that up to see if it works on your computer. This is what you should get. So I would try to import my stone but instead of that I think I'll go with something different because I already did the stone so I'll go with that uh, how to say the shoe that I just showed you guys so I'll go with this one because I think it would look interesting so this one and then what I would do is I right click here and specify the the OBJ file so mine is this cup so I'll drag this one about it here. Once I have it connected, it automatically st starts scanning. So now the process is going, and once this progress bar is 200, then it means your converting conversion is done. So make sure you don't press anything else, just keep it like that. So it's almost done. It's quite interesting. I was quite amazed, like this kind of scanning works inside BBBB. Looks like it's done, but it's not right. Okay, so once it's done, I'll press right. And then what it does is it exports a DDS, which is the file format for SDF. Now it, it saves that inside the directory of your mesh folder. So mine's inside here. So once I'm done, I have this get.dds file. This should be the a format I'm, I'm going to be opening up inside my patch. So once that's done, I'm going to delete my my sample thing that I made already, and then I'll start everything from scratch. So once this is done, I don't need it anymore, so I'll just delete it. Don't save. 
and then I'll start a new patch. So today I'll need a render and then uh, volume oh, volume I think it was uh, volume what was it? S volume? No oh sorry I forgot to make sure that this part is correct uh, volume 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 is it correctly? No Oh yeah, so this one, volume SDF. So we need this one here. And then uh, once we have this node, uh, there's then for uh, file texture 3D. So we need this node, file textures 3D. And this one should be inside uh, file texture. I think this one is inside oh this one is inside dx11 so we connect this one what it does is this is a special format for it's importing dds and it's made by i think it was made by vux right yeah vux anyways once this is here uh we'll import the ddx s file so right click and then go to the location where you have your uh dds folder exported from the mesh to sdf so mines is inside uh, get up and then get the DDS so once this is done I should get this out so what I'll be doing here is I'll just get a very basic uh, ray marching basic node and then I'll see if I can see something out from here so connect this one and then I connect this one to render and see what, how it goes okay I'm seeing nothing and that's because of the camera Okay, here we go. So as you can see, we already got this nice looking shoes in a DDS format. However, I've couldn't figure out how to map a texture, so we're not doing that part. But anyway, once this is here, what we can do is, if you followed our last tutorial, I explained about this combine SDF, so we're just gonna do that. So combine SDF and add some noise SF3D source. And then I'll plug, plug this one here. Uh, I think, yeah, this is not correct. So we'll need to change this union round to intersect round. Once that's done, it only intersects inside it. So uh, here you go. And we have to in uh, decrease a little bit of amplitude because right now I think it's too high. And then, oh, amplitude and uh, the frequency. Oh, maybe you can make it a little bit higher and then if you like it just change the shape or whatever uh, I'll just keep it. Right. yes so as you can see we already got this really interesting look with my shoes or maybe my sandal getting somehow a lot of holes so this is the first step and the next step is we're trying we're gonna try to shade a little bit of this guy so right now it's just a basic wide ray marching but so I'm gonna change this one to ray marching uh, tree plane tree plane and what this guy does is like let's open up the help patch and see what it does gives you some sort of like you can tech map a texture on top of this SDF which is a bit different than the matcap one. There's also ray marching matcap. I already explained about matcap in my previous tutorial a while ago, so I'm not gonna follow with a matcap. But today we're gonna be using this one. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but if I change the texture here, it applies that texture to it. So I don't wanna replace, recreate all of these. So I'll just copy paste these ones. I think only these should be fine. So I just copy these and put it back to my ray marching folder and then I'll reconnect each of them to the right place and then right now I'm seeing nothing and that's probably because I don't have the texture in the right location so I would have had to specify that uh, in default uh, all the texture for this guy. I'm not sure why we need this one, but there's a special format for uh, this guy. So we have to locate inside field trip uh, packs folder. 
and then here there should be an assets folder and in here there's indus r and d so this r is the one for reflection cube map and the other one is for the diffuse cube map and i'm not really sure about this one we probably can recreate it by our own but i'm not going to do that part and then um, for here i'm gonna import random texture maybe i'll just import this normal png see how it goes as you see uh, so this dns texture is repeating tiling this texture that we just put it here onto this shoes so once this is done for example if I, if you use inter uh, different was it different oh yeah in integrate differential so this one and then higher this one up to like point 0.1 and then we connect integrate into domain offset as you see now we have this noise moving around with this holes affecting the the shoes i think i'll change the shoes to the stone because the stone looked more interesting so we just go back i already have my dds file so i just put this on here here we go so now it looks a bit a little bit in, more interesting just change a little bit of background and then here uh, this ray marching tree plane has a different input for example we can change the ambient occlusion scale to make it look more a bit of like shading shaded a little bit lower and the ambient occlusion bias is also controllable so you can make a, the inner of this SDF a little bit darker as like ambient occlusion texture scale we can change this once maybe it's bigger or smaller like if you want it to be tiled a bit more then we can change it to 10 or something or maybe 100 let's see how that goes now we don't see it but if you zoom in we can actually see it tiling which looks pretty interesting uh, and then we can also change the fresnel and uh, shine so we can make it look, shine a little bit more this rain marching tree plane thing works pretty nice actually um, so yeah now we got this really interesting uh, okay let's change these things now we got this interesting look of a stone getting infected by a nose noise sdf and yeah this was it for today's tutorial i mean i just wanted to show that this was possible i just found it out right now so i didn't have any idea that this kind of thing would be possible and i was trying to recreate something that and then was showing on the web on the vv meetup and i ended up coming here so i feel like i'm getting closer to it but i mean Still, I don't know how they did all the fung, super fung shading inside the sphere and things like that. So, I mean, there's still a lot to learn. But I mean, anyway, field trip pack is very powerful. And there's a lot of things that I want to share. And there's a lot of things that you can do with. So I'll be sharing some more tips and tricks on how to play with field trip in my following tutorials. But for today, this is it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.